Hi, this is Lakshmi Gantiwari. In this video tutorial, I am going to take forward Android and Material Design to the another level. Earlier we have designed a toolbar, pop-up menu bar and the action bar. Now we are going to design navigation drawer bar. So let me show you an example which I have already designed for a sample. So if you see this one, it look familiar to you. After Android Lollipop, Android has rolled out material designing. So here you can see Android drawer. If you click on here, you know a drawer is popped in into a screen. There are two sections here. So the first section is navigation header and its height is 160 dp. And the another section is navigation menu. And here is a divider. And these four elements are grouped together. And these three elements are individual items. Here I am using a circular image wave, there is a text wave and there is another text wave and here is a background. So we are going to design this drawer navigation bar. So while designing this drawer navigation or you can say navigation drawer, you see if I click on a back button it first goes off and then it closes my material design android application. So let me open it and show you one more thing. If you see here the navigation bar background and here a toolbar color, it matches. But in our in this design, it do not match. So let me first design this one. It's a very simple. I'll first match this color. Then I'll move toward the navigation drawer. So let me first fix that problem that you can fix from style. And then you need to come here. And here I need to create another item. That's the navigation bar color and let's make it color primary. And now if you see here, the Android navigation bar color has become mm, the primary color, right? So see here, the navigation Android bar color has become primary color, right? So this is navigation bar. Now let me run this application into Android emulator then you will visualize what I am trying to tell you. So see here now it's looks very nice. Now I'm gonna remove this back button. Since there is one activity, there is no logic to keep that back button. So that's the very simple. You can remove that back button from here. Just delete this line. And run your application. And in meantime, let's start creating navigation bar right and before creating navigation bar you need to make sure one thing you must have android support app compare design and android support design library so for that let me show you why I am telling these things. So let me first create one layout file 
for you. So the layout file, I'm going to create navigation header. Okay, so let's first create a navigation header. Now let me tell you more about the navigation header. So if you come into the material.io guidelines pattern navigation drawer. So here this is navigation header and here is image wave, the name and the email address. Right. And if you visit this, so it shows you many, many, you know, the examples where you can implement. Okay, let's come back to the design. Here I'm going to create navigation header. Type here navigation underscore header. Okay. And click on OK. So the navigation header new layout has been created here. So what I am going to do first here, I am going to create a simple image wave and the text wave to text wave, right? So it's a simple and uh, so let's make it as a linear layout as it is on linear layout and uh, its height I am going to make 160 dp and uh, then the padding from both uh, from all the direction is a 16 dp and the gravity is gonna be bottom gravity okay that means if I add layout that would start from the bottom itself and the theme which I am looking to apply for this uh, navigation header that's that you can get inside the style slash theme overlay dot app compact dot dark and the background for which I am looking so let me add a image wave to set the background so that I have already downloaded image background so copy this and paste that here into the drawable ok now press here control and space and type here background ok perfect so this is a background now everything is ok now let's add a image wave so for image wave we need a circular image wave so let's search on a Google circular image library. So if you search circular image library, it shows many search results, but I am going to open the first one. This one is one of the most famous circular image library. It's very simple to add in your example code. Just copy from here, compile, and then we are going to paste this code into build.gradle and it is app level of build.gradle. So control and V and just sync it. So once you sync it, now you would be able to use this circular image wave. Okay, so the type here you need to first, uh, you know, opening tag and then then circular you know uh, let me type once more circular image wave right so the first option for which I am looking to use and let's use 56 dp width and the 56 dp 
is high. So I'm using these settings as a standard settings. These guidelines are provided by Google. Okay. And the image which is gonna have a image of mine. So let me add here this image with okay into this drawable folder control and V uh, here type control and V let's click on the JPEG and I need to remove here this JPEG I think I need to remove this one also and then I need to add here src that's the source and type there Lashmikanth you will get my photo there of course you can use your own photo you don't need to use mine now let's set the scale type so this, there are many options in scale type set the center crop center crop will crop the photo consistently in all the direction so this video is long enough so I am gonna stop this video here and we will continue into next tutorial so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one